Hey, this is William for Attack of the Fanboy.com, and Kyle, this is Rainbow Six Siege. Eliminate the terrorists. The new the full first, game. The full game. Yeah, I played quite a bit of this. Um, I am. I was liking this game earlier in the year. I think we've probably talked about this game before. Yeah, I, thought, I, I enjoyed the alpha. Yeah. Did you play the alpha? I did. You liked it. Oh, so, yeah. you, have some, so you have some experience with this game. Yep. Um, this is the full game, and it's working, surprisingly. I, I mean, I don't know, yeah, I, don't, I didn't know if you heard. <laughs> 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 That's a check mark. Good job, Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> this game is working. Game of the year. Back of the box. Let's put it on there. Game works. Uh, no, uh, they had a beta. Like, uh, quotation marks, beta. Before, like, six yeah, days, yeah, was, six yeah, days right before, before the game launched. <laughs> And uh, it was a beta because that game, what well, that beta wasn't working, and oh, okay. they were supposed to open it up to everybody. They delayed that, um, and then I was like, "Oh shit, this game's gonna be fucking broke, broke." This they're <laughs> like not even, they don't have a chance at getting this thing right. Um, but whatever, they must have crunched it out. Yeah. Uh, been working all day. This is launch day when we're recording this, and I kind of played all day. Um, and uh, didn't have any problems with matchmaking. I was playing by myself, and I don't know if like playing with other people might have any different effects on that. Yeah. Of, of being able to group up and party up, because I know that was one of the problems people were having. But going into this game by yourself and playing works. So that was good. Eliminate all of the terror. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. So, is right. so how's how's the actual? Now that you have the full experience. Has, uh, has they gave us a lot that. of the experience in the beta and alpha. Uh, like yeah. you got a real good taste of what this game is going to be, and what it is is just a, a more tactical, a first-person shooter. Uh, it's going to be slower paced. It's not just people running around the map. It's it's players using different characters uh, and using the environments to mm -hmm. their advantage. Uh, and you know that's what the game is. If you, if you played this game in alpha or beta. It's the, the launch game, the, the full game is pretty much the same. You have access to more characters. You have uh, access to more maps and, and, and different types of modes and stuff. Um, but f for the most part, that is what the game is. And it's just a more tactical, slower paced shooter for people who uh, want to strategize a little bit more instead of just running in and shooting. Yeah. Because this game really is about, like, taking your time, throwing out, uh, you know, these scanning devices, seeing where enemies are, setting up your, you know, your attacks, and, and taking taking it that way. And, and this is just kind of like a single-player um, portion of the game, okay. because it's all I was built. wondering, I was like, those, those guys are in the exact same spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going through this um, tutorial stuff to get the points because you need them to unlock new characters and okay. uh, the progression system it takes a little while and there's a lot of like XP boost free to play bullshit in this game uh, like you want you want to earn some more points quicker give us five bucks and you can do wow, it oh man and it's like fuck you man Ruby I just soft, want why yeah they did it uh, I mean some of the DLC stuff's not that bad it's more like cosmetic you know, like they've made some good decisions to uh, not break up the player base. There's going to be like maps and stuff added for free, I think, down the line. Um, and it's going to be more like cosmetic stuff for, for the other, you know, they're kind of funding future maps and stuff. Kind of the way Halo's doing it, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah I and I, I, I guess I'd prefer that. But on the other hand, you know, it's like, did they lengthen this progression system to make it artificially take me longer so I want to buy XP boosts, you know? Yeah. And I, I haven't played enough of it to really know if that's the case or not, but um, uh, I, I'm playing these <laughs> missions to make sure I'm getting as many points as it possibly can. Because the way that this game is structured, the online is like not everybody can use the same character. So if you know, everybody picks your character right away, or somebody picks your character right away, you are kind of screwed. Then you just have to use a regular recruit person. 
Yeah, so. I kept having that happen in the uh, in the alpha. Just you know, I, I I learned my character, knew how to use him, right? Figured out his abilities, and then oh, somebody picked him. Everybody then, else likes that character too. And I knew, okay, well, I'm in for a few minutes of getting yelled at for not knowing how to use something. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. The Rainbow Six community was pretty vocal today. <laughs> they were pretty intolerant to people not not playing well on day one. Yeah, um, I, I figured. I mean, it was it was a freaking alpha, and people were already just you know getting on everyone that that didn't know exactly what to do. Which I get because this is a really tactical game, but if you're playing with randoms, that's just kind of the price you pay. Yeah, you get what you get. Yeah, and that's that's kind of the problem with, you know, if the multiplayer matchmaking and stuff doesn't work, uh, which I'm not sure if it does or doesn't. I still haven't got a chance to play uh, with friends and stuff. But, I mean, if it works, this is the kind of game you want to play with friends who you're going to communicate with. Uh, it's just that game. And, and if you're playing with, you know, random people online, you're going to get an earful if you're not that good. Uh, you're probably not going to have the greatest time in the world unless you're playing with that magical team that gels without talking, you know, and does the right yeah. things. I think it's a little bit too early for that, but... The enemy's remaining. Yeah, I don't even think I finished this level. These, I mean, is, these it, missions are pretty tough. Is this like a full-blown campaign i don't think that there's a story here it's not well there's there's like uh it's there's kind of a story it's kind of a full-blown campaign okay um you know there's a little bit of backstory for all this stuff but it's essential it's a glorified tutorial it's to get you uh playing this the way that you're supposed to play it so you have all these situations so it's like this is how we're going to do the basics of close quarter combat and this is how you extract targets and and they're all like variations on um you know the things you'll find online uh the different yeah. the different game modes and attacking and defending because there's two sides to the game as you know you have attackers and defenders and uh attackers are going to throw in their cameras and, and try and figure out what's going on before they go in there and defenders are setting up their defenses and they're putting up barbed wire, reinforcing walls, um, putting up you know blockades through doors and and using their uh, equipment. When I was little, my staff taught me so yeah, I, I unlocked a couple of characters here uh, during the video. It, it, a lot of this stuff is really well done. Um, as far as like all the cinematics for you know when you unlock the new characters. Um, yeah, this is really cool. This is just showing you their abilities. Yeah, this is just like when you unlock them, it's like, this is what your badass motherfucker can do. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I do I do this, uh, both the FBI operators for this one, uh, Ash and Spectre, which I couldn't use in the next multiplayer game at all. That was pretty pretty hard. Somebody horrible. somebody else picked them or N no, I just couldn't use them because I sucked with them. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know, this is I played this game for probably like 2 hours when I did this video. I played a lot during the beta but I didn't bring it with me. I did not bring that skill set with did not carry over. Yeah. The average person's heartbeat can be I mean, it's it, it, like you said it is a really tactical game. So it's a it's one different of those type of shooter. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not on point, if you're not being patient and knowing exactly what you're supposed to do, uh, you're in trouble. Yeah, the hit detection's a little shaky too. It yeah, it's kind of one of those games that you're going to have to play a little bit to get used to. Like if you play a lot of Call of Duty or Battlefield, you're going to be like, "Oh, this is a little, you know, yeah, because it's it's more realistic, right? Like, supposed to be more realistic. Yeah, yeah. for me, well, it's, it's like just fly randomly. Recoil is yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's short burst. It's not just holding down the trigger. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm gonna get into some multiplayer here, but uh, this is kind of the I want to showcase the shop, the shop where you can spend all your money, Kyle. This is yeah. this is this is it. And uh, the currency system works on. In the top right corner, or the middle of the screen, towards the right, you can see like those are, are are my the currency I can use to buy new operators, and then it scales up for each class. It's five hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, I think is how it goes. Um, but the shop allows you to buy like the requisition, or I think they're called rec packs. I'm not sure. Um, 
What That's it'll... trademarked. Trademark. Is it? 343. No, just kidding. <laughs> Am I getting a trademark <laughs> called on that? Um, <laughs> But each map is each match or each you know mission or, or terrorist hunt is going to give you um, more points and XP. But you know Ubisoft does gives you gives you the option to to purchase that stuff. So you know, here's me jumping time. into multiplayer on the casual um, casual lobby. Uh, okay. The ranked lobby isn't open until uh, level twenty. All and right. I played quite Probably a few games a today. Didn't. Yeah didn't level up but maybe three or four levels uh hadn't seen this level before and this is just team deathmatch it says team deathmatch <laughs> but i believe it's um uh, like securing a biological weapon yeah that kind of confused me also i was like what it's not not rescuing a hostage then no so yeah, as you can see here, this is your character selection screen, and uh, we've got two recruits who probably just started playing since the game came out today. Then you've got uh, myself, Ash, and then Thatcher. And I am not 100% sure on what every character does yet. Uh, I know my character does a, a penetrating uh, barricade, blowing up, charge, which can I don't. I don't think I do. Can you just kind of create your own character? And no, no. You have to it's, pick one of theirs. Yeah, there is only uh, their like main characters. I believe you can change the loadout for the characters. Okay. I mean, you can change the loadout for your recruit, but you it doesn't. They don't have a special ability like these guys do. Gotcha. So it's more about just whatever their special is, and then well, yeah, their specials are like super important, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can bat, one guy has a sledgehammer. You can just bash through barricades and stuff. You know, one guy can. Uh, they're they're both they're class based, right? So it's class based within the attackers, class based within the defenders. So we're on the attacking side first, so we're gonna send in uh, the remote control jo uh, drones to scout out the area. You're gonna see here why they were yelling at me because I <laughs> do you know you're supposed to defend the zone but yes. I mean it's it's called team deathmatch I would assume it was, yeah it was an error on their part you're just supposed to run and and we had like that guy wasn't playing either <laughs> people were getting oh, mad man. yeah it happens but usually yeah. that's a telltale sign where there's barbed wire there are guys yep and uh you know they're, that's, they're doing their job setting up setting up the room for our assault. But the good thing about this this game is, you know, it doesn't give you the same amount of action as, say, like a Call of Duty or whatever, um, where you're, you're dying and getting back in, dying and getting back in, and, you know, it's one time you die and you're out. But you can kind of watch, um, watch everybody else play and... Yeah, you always learn something. And, and, yeah, when that, when you die well. early enough to watch someone for four minutes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, I died pretty quickly here. I also had a brightness issue with my with my uh, TV that I had to wrangle with. I could not see people, and in that in this type of game, that is that pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, you were playing on PS4. Uh, no, this was Xbox One, and it looked okay. really good. Uh, yeah. the game looked real good. Uh, there were some textures and stuff that didn't look that great, but yeah. um, for the most part, I thought it looked just fine. Fire! It ran fine. Um, no issues with. No frame rate or anything like that. I don't think it's Good. 1080p. So. Yeah. Well, you can't get everything. <laughs> you can't get everything in this generation. <laughs> but I yeah. mean, it, it, it looks tense. It's got that. You know, a, a lot of people were scared because Rainbow Six was this tactical experience, this strategic experience, and. Uh, you never know when they revive something like that what they're going to remove and turn it into. Are they going to turn it into Call of Duty? And you know, most of the the hardcore fans don't want that. And I I definitely don't get that feeling here. I I wasn't a hardcore Rainbow Six fan. I definitely played uh, a decent amount of Rainbow Six, but uh, you know, I'm not seeing this being a dumbed down experience. At all. No, this is definitely not a dumbed down experience. I don't think that at all for people who thought 
that, that maybe that was going to be the case. I just don't see that. I think this is probably one of the most tactical shooters um, out there that require, I mean, the, the preparation stuff at the beginning of each map, which we'll see after this round, um, I, I just think that stuff is really neat. Uh, I, yeah. I, giving, I know we talked about this before when, when, when we played the alpha, but how long is it going to take for people to kind of figure out all the angles? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and just kind of have it so, you know, some of these matches are unwinnable. When does that skill uh, ceiling, you know, get a lot of people out of this game that don't, yeah. that play it passively, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think it's, I, I think it's or, super tactical, and I don't, I don't think they went that route at all. I think they kind of will, stuck to their guns. Yeah. And, and you might, down the road start seeing these like definite strategies develop where the defenders always do the same thing but then i don't think that that's the case here just because of the special abilities that uh, you know the other team you don't know exactly what the other team is bringing to the match so you can't defend against all of those every time and it's uh, it's always multiple rounds right yeah every- in, in the uh, casual i think it's five and in uh, the ranked, I think it's six, and then it goes to sudden death. Okay. So it's, you know, you you can always change up your strategy depending on how they do things. So, yeah, yeah. I definitely, I like it. I like what I'm seeing. So, you didn't get it, though. I know. Well, I got a lot, <laughs> got a lot of games. It's a bad time. Man. It is a bad time, but I don't know. I have a lot of friends who are as many games has come out have been coming out. They're like, "This is the one I want to get." Uh, for whatever yeah. reason, they've had a real good time with it, and the uh, the the last beta or whatever didn't work that well. Uh, there was a lot of connection issues, which is you know what is really scary about this game. If this doesn't work, it's a waste of sixty dollars. Yeah, because there's not much else. I mean, this is the this is the major draw for it. Yeah, I'm using this thing. They're spotting me, but I am not spotting them. <laughs> there we go. So this will be when he's like, hey, dude, you're supposed to just uh, defend the objective. Oh, uh, like you left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I got gotcha. just trying to figure it out. But, I mean, uh, are there any tutorials to, to kind of go over the was, game modes? Yeah, I was kind of going through those. The, those are the those are the setting. Like, those are the ones that I showed at the beginning. Uh, those okay. are what kind of take you through, even though it's by yourself, it, it teaches you the basics of setting things up, um, taking your time, um, using the cameras, using your, your, your abilities. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a must play for anybody, I would say. And then playing it on like, you can, there's multiple difficulty levels, so uh, playing it on higher difficulty levels actually, you know, makes it feel more like playing against human Okay. Uh, opposition. I think this is one of those games where y- your friends have to get it. Oh, Otherwise, absolutely. The people so, yeah. you're playing with have to get it. That's without a doubt. Um, yeah. Or it can get real shitty real quick. Uh, it, but you know, a lot of shooters are like that. The only the only one that doesn't really have that is like Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. Because, like, Battlefield, definitely. If you're playing anything that's, like, objective-based, and this is, like, to the max with that. Uh, this is, you know, strictly objective-based. If you just got some guy that's doing whatever the hell they want, you're going almost always going to lose. Uh, I, I think the community for this game kind of knows that going into it, though. Because Rainbow Six has traditionally been more tactical than, say, a Call of Duty. And it's oh, yeah. been a while since we've had a Rainbow Six game. Yep. Uh, I mean, I, I think... And then even then, they were... Was it Vegas was the last of the series? Uh, yeah, Vegas and, and then that was, the sequel. That was already kind of going a little in its own direction, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, it was... Well, like the Black... I think it was Black Arrow. Is that, is that ring a bell? Nah. Uh, well, those those Xbox games kind of started. I mean, this is a tactical series from the very beginning. 
Yeah. That was a long time ago. But, uh, you know, I think it's gotten way back closer to its roots than it is to, like, trying to be more contemporary. Uh, so, I mean, for the most part, I think they've done, they've done a good job. I mean, but, yeah. those, those moments, like, where a wall comes down and bullets just start flying in, it's... That's, that's what you kind of imagined when you were a kid and you were like, oh, I'm going to be able to play shooting games online. That's going to be so cool. Right. And it, it never really worked out that way, but this this kind of does. Yeah, some of the stuff in this game is, is incredible. The, the, the ways that you can breach, uh, you know, rooms and the ways that the, the, the defenders can counter, counter those breaches. Uh, it's a very cat and mouse sort of sort of thing and, and the destruction element of it is incredible and I know everybody when they first saw the game at E3 or whatever and they showed that I haven't played a game that's ever worked out like that I don't know if yeah. you re- recall that I where the that, actors that are like going through, bravo team bravo team <laughs> hey, no, Charlie yeah. Charlie <laughs> um, I haven't yet to play a game that works out like that but I've got well, some that have come close to that feeling of, of where you're all on the same page and you're like, I'm going, we're, you know, we're breaching in here, we're going to blow this door, I'm going to throw the flash bangs, we're going to, you know, work as a team, and that's what this game's all about. Um, and I, th- I think they kind of nailed it. I know when I first played this game, I was like, Ubisoft has a really good chance at, uh, at, at putting out something special this year. You know, I just, I think it is that, I think they, they have achieved that. Um, I just don't know if this game is for everybody, right? Because it, yeah, exactly. it, 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 it's, it's, I would say this is, you know, as hardcore as it comes, uh, at least as for what's on the market, and, unless you're going to start going down the road of, like, Counter-Strike, which or is... Arma. Well, yeah, Arma. Arma's definitely hardcore as yeah. far as realism goes. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about more of, like, what is required of the player, the, the number of things that you need to be able to learn, um... As far as like, what do all these characters do, and what do I need to be prepared for, and how do I counteract this stuff? Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of things you're going to need to learn, uh, and it's just kind of done by playing the game. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, as far as like hardcore, I wouldn't put it on the, on the level of that kind of stuff. But now another issue that we've had with a lot of shooters, especially lately, is they're they have a great core concept and the gameplay works but there's not quite enough there to keep your interest have you seen are there do you feel like there's enough modes enough maps that you're going to keep coming back to this i think with uh, with this game so far and i haven't played enough of it to really make a like a judgment on this game or a score give it a score or anything like that i think for me personally at this point, each map, is, it's kind of got that battlefield feeling of anything can happen. Like, you can't be prepared for all of the situations, like you're saying. Like, um, if it got to the point where, okay, I know, on the airplane map, everybody always does this. And it's that's just because that works. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah. if There's so many different ways to attack situations, and there's so many different variables uh, that, that can go into each game that it feels fresh every time. Will it feel fresh, you know, six months from now? I don't know. Um, and will that kind of feeling retain, uh, you know, for, for more than a week? I don't know. I mean, that's the kind of the problem that shooters run into, right, is is does it have enough for the long term? Uh, there's ten maps, and I think one of the reasons why... I, this might, I don't know yet, like I said, to be honest, I don't know if they're going to hold your interest, but there is a, there are 10 maps, and they have yep. different um, uh, times of day okay. on them as well, and then, I, I know you're familiar with the game, so you know, like, the spawning locations change as well, or yeah. you can that, change that, the spawning locations, which changes kind of the way that a specific uh, I mean, that, match that can plays. change it completely. I yeah. can change the match totally because you're you're going into the basement instead of the second floor. Uh, you know you're not repelling into the windows. Uh, so yeah, that that alone 
really. So I think it. there is some sort of you know a, a better variety uh, than than some games that we've seen recently, and I think they've kind of taken some interesting ways to do that. Um, and and then you do have a pretty deep. Uh, progression system as far as uh, the characters. Like, that stuff's going to take a while to unlock. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It depends on if you're, you know, I, I really haven't gotten a good chance to see how how grindy it is, if it is at all. And uh, you know, we just have to see. But, um, yeah, I mean, it does have other modes as well. It does, uh, like, some cooperative uh, and lone wolf terrorist hunt missions, which is kind of going against the, the AI. So you, you, you do have some, a little bit of everything. So, uh, I mean, they didn't put a full-fledged single-player campaign in here, but I think they got away with it, like some other games haven't recently, mm -hmm. um, by... You know, making a tutorial, I guess, that, that matters a little bit more because the gameplay of the multiplayer is so nuanced that, um, you know, you need to play it, uh, unlike another game we're going to talk about here shortly. But uh, for the most part, I think they've done well. I, like I said, I haven't played it enough to, to score it, but, um, you know, I'm having fun with it so far, and, and so long as the multiplayer stuff and online components hold up, I think it's it's got a lot of a lot to offer for you know fans of this very very specific type of shooter. Fantastic! Well, I'm definitely excited. I'm going to try and convince some people to buy it, and then uh, we'll have a nice four-person team. There you go. If you don't, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we're going to do as well. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. That was Rainbow Six Siege. For Kyle, I'm William for attackofthefanboy.com.